Hey everybody, talking about the electromagnetic spectrum today. The electromagnetic spectrum is going to be made up of waves of energy that travel through electrical and magnetic fields. Okay, we see these every day in our lives, and we also see them in our study of space. So these can be used to study stars and to find the chemical composition of things, uh, different substances. So the electromagnetic spectrum is going to be made up of waves. And I'm going to slide to the bottom of my paper here and teach you about the parts of a wave. So if you look down here, I'm going to draw a wave for you. So we start with a line, and then we're going to have a wave. Okay, so the parts of a wave are going to be the crest. The crest is going to be the highest point of the wave. Okay, the trough. It's going to be the lowest point of the wave. So the highest point is the crest, the lowest point is the trough. When we measure something called wavelength, we're going to measure from the crest of one wave to the crest of the next wave. That tells us about how long the wave is. Okay. Uh, when we measure how high a wave is, so from here to here, that's called amplitude. Tells us how high the wave is from this baseline that we drew. Okay, the last thing that we need to talk about is frequency. So frequency is going to be how close together the waves are or the number of waves that we have per second. So frequency is measured in hertz and it tells us number of waves per second, basically how close together. And the amount of hertz or the frequency of the wave can tell us the energy of the wave. Is it a high energy or is it a low energy wave? So a low energy wave might look like this more. So this is a low frequency wave, whereas a high frequency wave, there's going to be more waves per second. Okay. So when we look at the electromagnetic spectrum, which is going to be here on this side, we have a range of waves that go from a high frequency to a low frequency, uh, varying in frequency. Okay, so now we have to talk about the different types of waves on the electromagnetic spectrum. So if we're looking, sorry. Okay, if we're looking from one end of the spectrum to the next, here, you can see that we have different frequencies. So here, we have our high frequency, right? And here, we have our low frequency. So the first type of wave we'll talk about is the low frequency waves. Waves with the lowest frequency are radio waves. Okay, these are going to be uh, actual radio like we listen to uh, on the radio. These are going to be a long wavelength and a low frequency. Right? You can tell here that the wavelength, the distance between waves, is long and the frequency is also low. Okay, our next type of wave is going to be microwaves. These are the kind of waves that your cell phone uses, and it's also going to be what we use in a microwave oven. Uh, these two types of waves help us identify cool regions of space. So these are going to be the coolest regions of space. Okay. The next type of wave that we have is infrared, and this is basically going to be heat. Uh, our remote controls for our 
TVs run off of infrared. Also those goggles that the military and other people use to see the heat signatures of our body run off of infrared. Okay, um, This helps us see cool dim stars and also the parts of our solar system. Okay, so infrared. The next portion that we have is visible light. And visible light is made up of this spectrum here. So the dotted lines tell us that it's going to be basically our Roy G bib, right? Visible light is what we see. So this is the only portion of the spectrum that we can see visibly. And it's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. So this is literally the light that we see when we look at things. Okay, the next type of light is going to be ultraviolet light. Okay, ultraviolet light is like a black light or the sun. This is what you get a sunburn from. This type of light also allows us to see high energy stars. and planetary nebulas. Okay, the next type of uh, light that we have here, or the next type of wave that we have here is the X-ray. This is what they do to look at your bones. This is a high frequency and it can pass through your body and show your bones. It can also show us neutron stars in space. And finally, we have gamma rays. Okay, gamma rays are going to be the highest frequency and the highest temperature. Okay, these are the rays that supposedly made the Hulk so they are very dangerous, high energy waves. These are going to allow us to see supernovas, which are those explosions in space. They're also going to allow us to see black holes. Okay, so when you look at the elect electromagnetic spectrum, you can also see that with the frequency and the wavelength of these waves comes an increased uh, danger from the waves. So, for example, radio waves, microwaves, these are all safe, but gamma rays, x-rays, these are dangerous. Okay, these kind of waves will damage your body. They can cause cancer. They can cause sunburn. They can cause burns. Uh, radio waves, microwaves, those are not going to hurt you if you come in contact with them. Okay, so that is the electromagnetic spectrum.